Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Vermilion which is releasing onto the Oculus Quest 2. Now this is a painting game that uses oil-based paint to paint on a canvas. Very, very Bob Ross style. You're going to see me attempt to try to make a painting in this video and I'm not a very good painter. In fact, I'm not really a painter at all, but it gets interesting. It's got some really really cool features in this game you have a youtube where you can listen to anything while you paint it's got tons of different brushes uh paint thinner in here that you can use adjusting your canvas size import export pictures save what you have it's really really fun really relaxing it just gets you kind of in that zen mode so let's go ahead and jump into it and check it out hello and welcome to Vermilion. So this game has been available on Steam. It is now making its way onto the Oculus Quest store. It's a pretty cool game. I've only just recently jumped into it. I am not a painter. Forewarn, full disclosure, I suck at painting. This is this is what I tried to paint the other day. And it's it's horrible. Just terrible. But I have been watching a few Bob Ross videos. And I might have picked up a thing or two. So we're going to see here. Let me show you some of this game a little bit here. So this is like our menu area as well as a YouTube. I've got a little bit of relaxing meditation music going on while I try and get my Bob Ross on. We can also import, export, or save our paintings. And let me show you a little bit of what we can do with these paintings here. So we have our canvas here. Now this can be adjusted if you want to sit down, stand up, however you want to do it. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can bring it in and out, up and down, you know, even adjust your canvas size to whatever you want um, and move it anywhere in the room you want. So if you want to stand over there next to a window and do a little bit of painting, you can. And everything here with you has the same features. So we can bring our paint palette up and down and move it anywhere we want as well as our brushes here too. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a new canvas. We'll scratch this painting and work on something different for you guys. So I am going to try doing a 24 by 30 inch canvas here. I uh, need to pick that as our canvas first. So in order to do that we hit the check mark here. And let's start off with the big brush. Again, not a painter, but I've watched some Bob Ross videos. <laughs> um, I guess, you know, we want to start off with the sky, so we want to go with maybe mixing a little bit of this blue with some of that blue. And we want to really soak up the brush, you know. We're just going to put a little bit of it right here on the sky. And this, this, is going to be our, this is going to be our sky. We can get a little bit, a little bit more of that, so it's, it's kind of a little bit darker, but it's not quite as dark. All right, and we use our oil thinner here to clean off our brush because we are doing oil based painting. So we want to throw in a little bit of this. Oops, I forgot to clean my brush off. Let's reset that. So if you mess up, you can go back. Oops, that resets it completely. You can go, okay. You can go back by one. Let's, uh, ah, I can't go forward. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you can reset your board here because uh, if you mess up, it allows you to do actually have a reset, which is, is pretty nice. So I want to get a little bit of this yellow mixed in with just a little bit of this orange, just, just a tiny, tiny bit. And it's a little too dark, so I think we're going to bring in some of this brighter yellow here. There we go. And see, that's the kind of color we want to look for right there. Get a little bit of paint on it. I'm going to throw just a little bit of it up on this, on this canvas here. It's something you're going to want to do because it's, you know, it's oil-based, so... You want to get your you want to get your brush in there and really get some of that color in, but you're going to want to smear it. Up. <laughs> and we could do that by getting some paint thinner on our brush, and just kind of painting it. You see how it kind of blends it in there, gives it that real nice color. Blends into the sky really nicely. Um, you know what? We're going to go with we're going to go with some blue. And uh, we want to do a little bit, a little bit brighter. So we're going to take some of this blue right here, and mix it over here. And we're going to take a little bit of the white. Oh, 
We can go back one. We take a little bit of the white, and we're going to mix that in with some of this blue here. And it's a little bit too white. I'm going to add some. We can also clean our brush instantly by pressing the A button, which allows us to just instantly not mix it in with the other paints. There we go. This is there's kind of more the color I'm looking for. It's a little grayer. Uh, so we're going to add just a, just a tiny tiny bit of this this light blue. Just a very very little bit. Not a lot. Oh, we need to clean our brush. And we're going to take that back one. There we go. So we just a little bit of this blue. There we go. Now that's kind of more the color I'm looking for right there. So we're going to really get our brush nice and wet. Suck a whole lot of it on in here. And then we're going to take that and we're going to paint. Oh, ah, my hands. Oh, something else I forgot to show you guys here. If you feel you want to position your paintbrush a little bit differently, you just grab your grip button and it lets you position it to what's more comfortable for your hand. Nice, nice strokes. You know, we just want to put just a little bit of it on there. All right, that's looking that's looking really nice right there. Now what we want to do is we want to we want to put some paint thinner on our brush and kind of just blend it in. We want to just blend it in just a little bit like that so that it kind of gives it that cloud formation. Not too cloudy, but a bit, a bit. Oh, whoops. Clean that up and redo. Oops, no, no, no. Go back. Fix that up. Dry our brush off here real quick. And uh, get just a little, just a little bit more. One just, just a little bit. There we go. We'll put a little bit of thinner on that. Kind of blend that in. Just blend it in together like that. There we go. It's looking nice, very nice, very, very nice. So we're going to want to clean our brush. We want to do just a little bit of that to the bottom. Not as much, but give it just a little bit down here. It's a bit thick there. I'm going to try and clean some of that up. I don't want quite as much, but we still want to get a, you know, it's like a similar shadow effect. All right, we want to add some of this lighter blue together, so I'm going to put some of this right here, a little bit of that together, and we're going to try and add some of that in here. But I do want to get a little bit lighter blue around this as well. I'm going to add some of that blue down here. There we go. That's a much better color. Nice and, nice and smooth in, but we don't want to lose too much of that yellow. We definitely want to make sure we keep some of that in. Now we're gonna we're gonna blend all this together here in just a minute. Show you kind of what that looks like. There we go. Okay. So yeah, there's a B button you can press. This destabilizes your hand, makes your strokes go a little bit slower. Where if you press it again, it will allow you to have more full control over the brush. Just the lightest little strokes. Nothing too major, just the lightest little strokes. All right, so now that we've got our sea and sky, maybe a little bit more blue, a little bit more over this way. Whoops, let's clean our brush off. No, oh, go back. Bring a little bit more of that blue. You could soak that brush up a little bit more of that blue all the way across the screen. Anyways, now this is an oil canvas, so remember this this is um, it's painting like oil. You can see the thickness in it as if we were actually painting with oil. It's very, very impressive. It's as pretty realistic as it gets. There's only one other game I've played that comes close to that. I'll have a video on that out before long. But it doesn't have a palette, which is pretty cool. So we're going to set our palette down, and we're going to clean our brush off. And now, let's see, we can set our brush right in here. And we're going to, we're going to grab this, the palette knife. 
All right, and now we're gonna take some black here and a little bit of brown. We wanna grab some of that. We can use it to scrape. And we can also use this down here to test colors out. So if we wanna grab, oops, reset, ah, reset that. Grab a little bit of brown with that black right there. Kind of see what that looks like. Oh yeah, I like that color, that's a good color. I'm gonna grab just a little bit of this forest green right here though. Just a dab of it, toss it in. There we go. I'm liking the way that's looking. Let me bring this up a little bit. Just a bit. There we go, yeah. I'm liking the way that that's looking. Good, good, good. All right. So now that we got this color here, we're gonna try and make some mountains. And to do that, we need to basically just jump it on just like this. There we go. A little bit more. Oh, no, no, no. Reset that. I don't know if I can reset that. This is the color I want. Okay, there we go. And... There we go. Okay, all right. We're gonna to wanna to try and make some more mountains just a little bit down that way. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Now, we wanna get a little bit of the white color. Let's say we're gonna throw some snow on these mountains. So let's put white, but we don't want it to be just pure white, right? We wanna have a little bit darker in there. So we're gonna add just a dab, some black into it. There we go, more snowy. Let's, let's add a little bit more black to it more gray like you can almost barely see it on the palette there that's what we're looking for now we just want to add a little bit of snow on these mountains it's not working at all let's uh let's clean this board all right now we're gonna make let's uh let's add this blue and let's go with a little bit of the light blue so it's a little brighter. A little more. Okay, I want to go even lighter still. Well, well, let's add in a bit of black. Actually, this isn't going to go lighter. It's going to go darker. We're going to see what it does, what it looks like. Interesting. Let's go with that color. I could dig that. So now we're going to try and run... Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> oh, that looks absolutely terrible. But hey, why not? We can we can throw a dab of white on there in with it to make it. There we go. All right. So now, now, now we're going to use this color. And we want to do some dark green. But I want to mix it with a little bit lighter of a green. So we're going to go right here. I'm going to mix that in with this. And that's still a little too light. Brush some more dark in. There we go. Forest, but not too forest. All right, now we're going to soak that one up. And we're going to reposition this so that I can paint it a little bit better like this. And I'm going to draw some branches or some bushes or some trees. Who knows, you know? But it's not green enough. It needs to be more green. That looks so, so brown. That's not looking great at all. <laughs> oh, what if we add this color to it, huh? How would this look? All right. Oh, I'm gonna still be using that. And grab a little bit of that white and just. Grab a lot of that white if we can. There we go. A lot of it. And we're just going to run right down the, fat, the side of the mountain. Just like that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. Now let's start drawing some of the landscape around here. So something I've seen Bob Ross do, and I would like to try it myself, is the man... Let's make some trees. 
he made shadows in the water, which was really cool. So if we can make some trees. I'm trying to make these trees without shaking my headset too much because painting like that kind of does that. So uh, he wet his paintbrush with the paint thinner. He went across it. And because we're on oil, oh, it's not, it's not fading as much. It should. Let's try, let's try a little more oil. We want to try and get it to fade here. And then he actually, I don't know that I'm getting it so much, but we made, he made shadows then. Shadows with the trees. Mine just look like smears, not even shadows. <laughs> right. well, I want to add some of this color here. I want to just run it down the sides here. I want to make some bushes. We're going to see how those bushes look. So we want to go with like just a dab of red over here and some of this green. Look at that, it's a beautiful color. We wanna make it, maybe just, maybe just a little bit brighter. Just a little bit, yeah, there we go. There we go, so we're gonna soak this up in here. And now we're just gonna, we're just gonna dab, just right here, just like this. Make ourselves a nice little bush right here. There we go, see, look at that. Got ourselves a nice little, nice, nice little bush right there. And we'll go ahead and just throw one more right on over here. And um, let's say we go with a little bit more yellowy, reddish kind of bush. We'll take some of this yellow and we're running out of space on our palette. And uh, some of this bright green. Throw that in with the yellow. There we go. More of a yellowy kind of bush. So, uh, actually, let's mix that in right there. Yeah, that's, that's a nice color. Maybe even, maybe even just a tidbit brighter. There we go. A nice, nice fervent yellow. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and make, you know, just a nice another little bush right over here. There we go. Who knows what I'm gonna end up with here. I mean, it's it's not, it's not horrible. It's not fantastic either. Horrible. Let's bring in some, let's bring in some trees, shall we? Let's bring in some trees. Oh, and something else I hadn't shown you yet. You can, I think it was with, which brush? This brush? You can make your brush grow or shrink to whatever suits your needs. So let's actually, yeah, let's use this brush. We're gonna try and paint a little bit of a trunk in there. At least we got some mountains, sorta, of, for the most part. Anyways, <laughs> oh my God, this is a really, Put your brush down for a second. This is a very fun, relaxing game. You can move around with the trigger button. Relaxing music, anything you can find on YouTube, whatever you want to get. Nice painting palette, paint thinner. A lot of different brushes that we can do stuff with, our cleaning cloth. And there are also uh, two other additional settings, um, surroundings. One is actually a pass-through setting. So if you want to play from the comfort of your own home while sitting down or standing up, and somewhere you recognize, you can do that too, which is, is super cool, really cool. So this game's releasing today onto Oculus Quest. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching me paint something. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time.